So the um, Balance You training, we're introduced to uh, the nature of mind. We receive an education in the nature of mind. And in that education, we discover for ourselves that the fundamental basis and essence of everything we experience is beneficial. It's pure benefit and nothing else. And, um, and that wasn't what I'd learnt about my experience. I'd learnt that I had various, in each moment, different thoughts, emotions, sensations occurring. And some were good, some were bad, some I didn't really care about or didn't even notice. And so I spent most of my life just trying to accumulate the good ones and keep the bad ones at bay and gaining skillfulness in this approach to life. So that could just look in very many ways, like um, having relationships that were good and loving and looked a certain way and gave me certain responses and people that confirmed that all was well and that I was a good person and that were um, nice to me in the way that I liked and so I only hung around with those people that made me feel good and I didn't hang around with the other people and put myself in situations basically that evoked and prompted positive data streams which is all our experience all our emotions, thoughts, sensations we can just call data and um, so I was very skillful having positive experiences and living my life in that way and, and avoiding anything that really brought up negativity. But of course we see very easily in our own experience we can't really avoid the negative things, what we might call negative. The strong emotions, um, envy, anger, jealousy, hatred, boredom. We just can't get rid of them, we can't stop any of them. So spending my life trying to keep keep hold of positive and keep the negative data streams at bay was just really effortful. And then I met the Balance View training and I was introduced to open intelligence. And if we all just stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Bright, open intelligence, cognizance, alertness, an intelligence that's always on, always reliable constant and in this intelligence we can see that there's just constant incessant ever-changing experience the data streams thoughts emotions sensations inseparable from our intelligence like the color blue in the sky indivisible and um, we just learn to prioritise the open intelligence view rather than always emphasising our thoughts, emotions and experiences and descriptions about our experience. We just relax, blissful relaxation as we are and become comfortable exactly as we are with whatever is going down. That's the difference I can see in anything I'd ever done before in my life, whether it be self-help, um, or just strategies in life. The difference with the Balance View training, with getting to know open intelligence, is that everything is embraced. There is no falling out of open intelligence. It is everything we experience. It's everywhere we go. It is us. So there's no failing. There's no wrong data. No wrong thoughts. Everything allowed to be as it is. So there's not one point where we'll be told you're doing open intelligence like wrong you've fallen out of it so we just relax again and we see that it's infallible and then we relax even more because no one before I just never wanted to fail you know that like oh no all of those data like the shame data the like I'm not good enough data now we just fail moment by moment <laughs> Just like totally failing, like falling into open intelligence and complete failure. <laughs> Glorious, exalted failure. <laughs> exactly as we are. Nothing to hold up, nothing to present anymore. Totally relaxed as we are. Getting to know our complete perfection in each and every moment. And doing it together in the Four Mainstays. Totally together, never alone ever again.
the ultimate love relationship in each moment. Like letting ourselves feel everything so fully, no matter where we are or who we're with. Complete love relationship with reality as it is. And in that, just seeing that it opens up unavoidably for everyone. And there may be a special someone in our life. But no matter where we are, that, that love doesn't go anywhere. Even if the data streams change. Even if one day we may feel, have the thoughts like, oh, I don't fancy my partner or I feel far away from them. When we just relax as we are, we see the very nature of everything we experience is just pure love your love devotion and we just get used to that and it really opens things up opens up so many uh, possibilities and our power to be of great benefit to ourselves and everyone in the world and we just see that simply us as we are shining forth as we are being as we are getting to know ourselves is a contribution of immense benefit Getting to know our true nature as open intelligence and nothing else. Not settling for anything else. Not settling, like it was said in the video, for degradation. Any more disempowerment. But we get to know open intelligence and we see that in each moment, everything that's occurring is our power to be of great benefit. No matter how we label it. And um, just seeing my strategies before were always to just incessantly describe my experience what's going on like you know the running commentary and then like focus on it always focusing on it like using it to grade each moment and myself and then just learning to relax and also given the instruction to stop describing relax and stop describing immediate introduction to open intelligence letting everything be as it is seeing that those descriptions that I just always used to emphasize and give a special power can just flow on by like a line drawn in air and that I understand deeply and powerfully in my own experience instinctively not needing descriptions to try and pin down reality and um, and so perfect to however we are like if we feel like our speech isn't clear just to relax right there relax right there and uh, not perpetuate the stories about ourselves and take it to short moments of open intelligence. And that's, we have the whole four mainstays to support us. And the four mainstays is the support structure of the support network of balanced view. At short moments of open intelligence. So short moments of just letting everything be as it is. And then we have the trainer, somebody who has gone before, somebody who has a great confidence and assurance in open intelligence and a great confidence and assurance as you as open intelligence and your power to be of great benefit and will reflect only that back to you. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable that this exists, that there's another human being that will confirm for you your beneficial nature again and again and nothing else. And then there's a training and training media, just a wealth of resources online and face to face where we can just come together and recognize the nature of our own mind as purely beneficial and train it up together and grow in our confidence together, grow in this assurance. And then there's a community of people all around the world making this choice, radical, revolutionary choice to relax as we are moment by moment, rely on open intelligence, get to know open intelligence in our everyday experience and not settle for anything else. And um, what I saw very quickly is my... Very quickly we start to see how powerful we are in, in all experience and, um, and I saw very quickly we're seeing that that I wanted to take complete responsibility for it in all situations and use the four mainstays to do that and, and, um, and seeing that it was my responsibility to rely on open intelligence to let my data be as it is and to live my life in that way and, uh, 
and really then seeing in each situation how can I be of most benefit, what is of most benefit in this situation, how can I contribute profoundly and greatly and just in short moments of letting everything be as it is, letting all the data arise, we, we get to see very clearly how we can be of benefit. It, it warms up our, our discernment of what is of most benefit just by hanging out in the Four Mainstays, coming to trainings, relying on a trainer, being with others, it just comes about unavoidably. And um, yeah, the ugly data, they're the best. The ones we've always wanted to not have and keep away, you know those ones like you said, jealousy. Like, ooh, ooh, nasty jealousy. <laughs> And we just relax right there, feel the power of jealousy and um, feel in that moment the great inseparability of ourselves from everything, everything. And, uh, and the great heart of jealousy, like nothing to be done with it, just to let it be as it is, let it expand, let it arise and resolve as open intelligence, like a line drawn in air, nothing to be done. And just see in that, in the great power of jealousy, see our beneficial potency, feel it, know it instinctively for ourselves that it comes about. That's what it is. And we can leave all stories, we can let those flow on by. But we also get very clear on our experience in the Four Mainstays. So it's so powerful to see ourselves and to open up and to open up questions which empower ourselves and everyone in simply asking them. That's the power of jealousy connecting us all together unavoidably. The very essence of human experience, we all know it. Like when questions are asked, we're all like, I, I so know that for myself. We're so connected. Data inseparable from open intelligence, completely connected. Us inseparable from each other, 